Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel live. We've got some e racing on the screen here, your favourite. We've got a GT4 race at Sebring, Bumpy Arama, the bumpiest track you like to drive. How's everyone doing? Hello Rich, hello Nigel. I I'm always talking to myself in my head. I'm Mr. Head Talker. Uh, do you know what? I've misplaced my biscuits. <laughs> Oh, no. First error. Don't know where I put my biscuits. Where have the biscuits gone? Let's get us up here. Uh, my setups. I've got a Seabreen setup. It's basically exactly the same as the other one, but with less suspension bounce. Let's get quality lap in here, guys. Stop playing next game. Play Y game. I put, I put all the games in the title. <laughs> Just wait when we start adding flight sims to the title. It's going to totally bamboozle people. Hello, Nick. They're going to be like, Ow, what are you doing? You're not playing my favourite game. I hate that game. I only play one game. Right. Warm your turnips. You have about five laps of fuel left. Yeah, you have about five laps of fuel left. Thanks, Sean Cole. Actually, that's an Australian guy, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't know what's real anymore. Right, volume levels. Thank you. Thank you, Erasing. There we go. There we... Be better volume levels. See? That's mute. That's not, that's not the right volume level. 65. 68. There we go. 68. I want 65. 64. 66. Ah, oh, no! Windows volume won't let you... It Oh, no! Windows volume level doesn't let you have 64. Oh, that's going to really annoy me now. Autism triggered. OCD triggered more. More like, actually. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Welcome to bump racing. I, I, are we doing the mini layout still? No, should we do the full layout this time? We're not, are we? So we put it back on the stupid layout. Not like this. I know. Bumpy. Dot com. Oh, I racing. Come on, come on, I racing. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, hang on. Ah, oh, we are doing the full layout. Praise the gods. There we go. Hope everything's running nice and smooth, guys, visually and audibly. Audible and blay. Ah, oh, well done, Dom. Did you finish upside down? That's the real skill. I never get the line right through this. You kind of want to take a mid like oh my giddy art the bumps hey, 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 hey. wow wow <laughs> right here we go we ain't got no front grip boys I don't know. I don't, I don't know how much of it's force feedback. How much of it is this track being bumpy? Our race has always been a little bit bumpy dump through the steering relative to other simulators. I don't know why. Uh,
Hello, Peshwazars. Oh, I can feel the tires are seventy percent there. This car doesn't quite hook up as much as some of the others. So some corners with other cars, you would just like kind of throw it in and it bites into it. But this, it, I think you have to you have to get the weight forwards on it. Otherwise, it doesn't. And if you get the weight forwards on it and the tyres aren't warm or you don't have the grip on the front, then you wash out. We probably will do T8. <laughs> And then as soon as we start playing it, we'll probably get a message of someone going, are you playing any, any original Assetto? Are you playing any iRacing? Are you playing any <laughs> city car driver? That's basically what a butt kicker is, Nigel. They work quite well. They're, they're quite good, I mean. I can't be bothered with it, but it's, it's a nice way of feeling the road. Gives you a sense that there's a road underneath you. You don't even need, you don't really even need a butt kicker. I mean, a butt kicker is better than a bass speaker. To be honest, they might have set it up to uh, work off the sound. It's like the default mode of a butt kicker. You, you have to set it up with specific software to have it actually work properly. I don't really feel like doing three hours of Bathurst, to be honest. <laughs> I'd rather not. You know what's going to happen? Three hours of Crashhurst. With the three-hour races, you would you would have had to have practiced at least two hours, like a sort of or one one and a half hour stint or something on the given track, and then you'd also want to have practiced switching, and you'd also need a setup. <laughs> so yeah, it's not the kind of thing to just jump into. Hello, Frank. You you really have to go into an endurance race with. Uh... Trotter, trotter, trotter. Oh, hello. Roses a red life is a hustle. Don't forget to press like and subscribe to Game of Muscle. Ah. Oh, we only get to do one lap. Well, that's random call sign watching on holiday. Portu Portu sign, Portugal sign in the uh, in the Portuguese lift. <laughs> you guys see that post on uh, on Discord? The put was. Port there's a lift. It's like a building that's built on top of a lift in Portugal. It's called like Lift to Portugal or something. Lisbon, Lisboa Lift or something. <laughs> so funny. Oh, uh, where do we qualify? Hope you're having a nice holiday, Mr. Coolsign. Thanks for throwing a a beer. Ein beeros. Spaversa. I don't know what it would be in Portuguese. Panadilha. <laughs> Splavlino. That's more like Italian. Portuguese be like uh, Pedele, a Pedele, <laughs> Splule. <laughs> I'm just making Portuguese words up. It's Libude. Now that's more like Danish. Danish people be like a Flude, a Hude, a Pinta Bude. For this, for this here. Right, here we go, guys. We're racing. We're racing. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. I've got something here. Ah, uh, bollocks. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to an exciting Sebring track. It might be bumpy, but hopefully the start of the race won't be. We have an exciting jam-packed grid of 32 cars. 
looking all for victories. The lights go on the screen and we get ready for a rampage race in the GT4s. Good luck. Here we go. I was the last person to join the grid. Here we go, guys. We're going to die. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. Get ready to die. Rum, ba dum, dum, dum. Car in my ass. Rum, da dum, dum, dum. There it is. Rum, da dum, dum, dum. Where can we go? Woo! No, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Rum, ba dum, dum, dum. GT4 racing. Rum, da dum, dum, dum. I thought I'd just go for the gap there. We're still good. We've got wheels. All's fine. <laughs> Rum -da -dum -dum -dum. Why would I use my brakes? We get rear ended. Rum -da -dum -dum -dum. There goes a wind mirror. Look, I've learnt I've learnt from this this series that uh, using your brakes is is worse than trying to just go for the gap that's still there because you'll get rear-ended otherwise from experience we actually came out of that not too bad they've actually um, they've actually um, improved the damage in our racing in the, you can have a little crash and it's not too crazy. On the damage. Now there, there's some there's some types of accidents where you want you you know you want to brake. It's best to brake to slow down and avoid it. Like if if these guys in front now had an accident, you know, that's great. That'll work out fine. But when you've got like three cars wide and it's the first lap in a 30 car race, in online racing, if you break, what I'll tell you what will happen. You break, the car, the cars behind you won't break. Cars to the side of you will try and go for a pass anyway. And so the gap that does exist in front of you will will like get taken over by the car on the right and they'll turn into you. That, like I'm just, I've done so many online races it's like, yeah, in real life, everyone would just slow down in real life. But it is, is genuinely, when there's a load of cars at the start, unless you're right at the back of the grid, if you're really at the back, then, yeah, just, just slowing down and trundling through can work well. But if you're in the middle, yeah, better off not plowing into people, you know what I mean? Trying to find a gap and kind of roll through it. Hello, Mr. Maltese. Now I want Maltese's again. Can we get a ban on this guy? Can we ban Mr. Chocolate, please? He's trying to make me obese. Brainwashing me. This is racing, man. Textbook top 10... Oh, dear. Brakes say no. Mr. Chocolate. Uh, well, yeah, I, I, I can't share my SimuCube settings on the Fanatec DD. Amazing how that works. Sorry about that. <laughs> I could share my bouncy castle. Ultimate Bounce Castle Racing. Mr. Caramel. Right, let's see if this sticks. No, you see, it does, and it. If we line that up. Now we need to move the brake bias back now. Not 0.75 there off our setup. I do like Sebring as a track, yeah. It's a good track. I have the DD1 Frank Knorr. It's 
really good. Though Sebring is rather bumpy with it. <laughs> I need to drive into the wall there. causing what the bumps is i racing has like really suspensiony force feedback oh you're on about you're on about the uh, tire temperature stuff well you know tire models are complicated things this is why like i mean if you're if you're really into like league racing and stuff And longer races, the told tyre temperature stuff will make it. Well, I mean, it makes a difference in all racing, but you know, if you're doing league racing, that's where it's going to really annoy your tits off if the tyres don't warm up and cool down properly. But if you're just doing sprint racing, it's with setups. If you're someone that's tweaking setups and things as well, that's going to drive you mental. Alcantara. Great. What a penis. What what was he even doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was uh, very comfortable on the wrists. <laughs> Almost ended up with broken wrists there. Bloody hell. Hello, Full House came in. Jesus Christ. That was a shock. I wasn't expecting that. Christ almighty. I've got the force feedback on 100%. So, <laughs> some of these jolts are a little bit of a shocker. How did you break both your wrists? Well, you know, someone decided to just drive into me. Keep going, though, we're fine. Comb over headset. My camera's too low, actually. I really, really hope that people drive don't drive these terribly in the actual races because this car has a lot of potential. There was someone posting on Reddit saying how... Uh... Oh, no, sorry, for, uh, Frank sorry. Nor. Sorry for ruining sorry. your life. Blame, uh, blame Matt Malone. It's his fault. It's not my fault. Matt Malone deserves blame. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Yeah, oh yeah, on Reddit, someone was uh, blaming streamers for bad drive, for making people drive bad in ACC. They're like, oh, streamers are bringing too many noobs to sim racing. <laughs> like Frank Nor. <laughs> ah, you've proved their argument correct. As if streamers are responsible for people not knowing how to use a brake pedal. They are pretty bad. Especially when you've got a nose streamer. Jesus Christ. Still, still in shock after that punt. <laughs> really, really uh, gave me a jump because I wasn't expecting it. The uh, wheel like, proper wrenched me. Proper surprise. It's like someone came and kicked me in the balls for no reason. Proper surprise, mate. That would have ripped a toddler's hands off. <laughs> Don't let your children use a DD wheel, guys, with 100% uh, force feedback. How big is the F wheel you use now? This is uh, it's just the three, it's 300 mil, I think. Is it 330? It's the D, this is the D rim. I mean, you know, no one's ever mad on Reddit. Hello, Peter. <laughs> I just... 
I just find it funny, like, some of the, the logic some people use. <laughs> For that game. <laughs> wow. That's what you get for putting your mum in an elevator. Oh, hoo -hoo! get the bird cream out. Get the bird cream out. We've just, full house has just been set ablaze. <laughs> Oof. Ah, <laughs> oh, full house. I don't think he's going to survive that. I think he's uh, he's gone to the Burns ward. <laughs> he's going to have to start playing Richard Burns Rally now. He's so burnt he looks like a victim of the Hiroshima bombing. He's so burnt it looks like he just spent three days in Reactor 4 at Chernobylberry. He's so burned. It's as if he's just, he had a holiday in, uh, in an Australian, uh, in the Australian outback. Ah, oh, man, these burning allergies. Topical. Too much. New line. Slow down. You got a penalty for cutting the cord. Yield. <laughs> Sounds like something medieval. Yield. Yield your time, sir. Yield your time. Yield to the king. Why? Why is I racing medieval specifically for that? Yield, yield, lowly subject. Jesus Christ, his bumps. Yield to the track bumps. This has been a very exciting race. Not at all ruined by people crashing into us. Off subject, but what seat? I have the Sparco R33 seat, which really you don't need to get. It's too expensive. I only got it because I got it for a discount, and I sit, in a, I sit in a chair all day long. I would just get a car seat for your sim rig. It'll work better. It'll be more comfortable. I mean, you can get a bucket seat, but it's going to be less comfortable. There's 20k of sound equipment stuck on an elevator. <laughs> well, you know, at least I was going to nick it. So, uh, you put one road microphone on an elevator then. It's like someone saying, ah, oh, there's 20,000 pounds of IT equipment stuck in a lift shaft. Ah, oh, you, you put, an, you put a, an Apple Mac uh, monitor stand in a lift. You uh. absolute nugget. Yeah, nugget. <laughs> Scot Scottish guys in here, guys. So now we can reduce the bumps even more. Other than, other than lowering spring rates even more. But it seems like more of a force feedback thing. Like the car's perfectly controllable over the bumps. Ah, oh, surrender! It does have dampers, yeah. Has the music, probably. 
don't don't trust French female gamers. They're the worst. <laughs> she needs to use a uh, girl, woman, female in the titles, and then uh, sorted. Fastest way to grow a YouTube channel. Also make good content. But there are certain keywords that help. Hot hot woman plays eye racing and wins. One million views. <laughs> hot woman beats boyfriend at eye racing. Six hundred and fifty thousand views. Hot woman laps a Nordschleifer faster than Lewis Hamilton. Four million views. Can this, can this woman, it's, they just need to do Jimmy Broadbent titles, but put woman, woman in the title and the Formula One race driver's name. That, that is algorithm gold dust. That that is like peak peak keywording. Have that work out for you, Mike. What seat did you order, Frank Nor? Not clickbait. Fix back Rickbo Tech. All right, nice. Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing I've found, personally, is um, All right, a I need chairs that have tilt on them because we'll we don't need to do any testing, you sarcastic ass. We need to, like, not get murdered by people on the truck. Tattoo testing. I, it's just worst pit crew ever. Just don't worry about the fact that I've had my wrist smashed. Don't worry about that. Don't worry that your, your paying driver has been terminally injured. Bloody pit crew arse. Let's turn the volume down here. I'm going deaf. Volume. Le, le volume. Où est le volume? Ah, le volume est là. Right. Come on. See, oh, we almost, we almost had it, guys. We almost had it. There was a gap there. I came in like blind, blind breast blessed there. What? What? How you retarded? <laughs> almost got through that. I don't know how that car to the right. <laughs> this guy is somehow managing to drive the wrong way around the track in the course of one corner, which is quite a skill. Like, <laughs> I don't know how you even do that. Oh, we got hit by the red car. But the red car disappeared. The red car hit him so hard, they became quantum entangled. And the red car disappeared. Universes. <laughs> two become one. When two become one. I don't know, that, you know, that song. See, I saw this there. Uh, I, I moved out of the way on the grass. It was only the red... Right. If the red car hadn't... Have, if the red car had not been a noob and had kept his brakes... So if this guy... If this guy had actually done what you're supposed to do in a crash, which is put your foot on the brake until the car stops or roll off the track and stay off the track, fine. Look what he does. He could have he could have put his brakes on. We could have steered away from the. Oh, he's not got a wheel, so maybe you couldn't steer. So if it wasn't for that red car, we'd have got through that. Because 
Because we knew that they were all crashing on the right. That guy's going to hit that car anyway. If we'd have slowed down, we would have got hit anyway. All right, we should, we should have gone even faster. I lifted and put the brakes on. I should have gone 100%. If we'd have gone 100% throttle, we'd have made that. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> See the... Uh... See this car. You probably would... That probably would have hit us. Let's have a look from further back. No, that's what you... Mike TTC, that's what you do to avoid a, a crash in this situation in a driving simulator. It's, it's a little bit counterintuitive, but I can tell you from from years and years of online sim racing and a lot of iRacing recently, there's times when you, if, if there's not loads of cars around you or it's like a league race and people aren't driving like crap, then braking is certainly what you should do. If it's week 13 or, uh, or you're in a big field and people are totally crap, is you're more likely to get through the crash by not slowing down a lot. Oh, come on. Because we were doing this in uh, the F3 car as well. Oh, Jesus, this car just disappears. That's why that's doing that. We were doing a lot of racing in the F3 and we were like avoiding crashes properly and repeatedly getting uh, rear-ended. And uh, then we realised actually just don't slow down so much and you're more likely to survive it. Ooh. Almost, almost. See, look. What's this car? I'm trying to find the car that would have hit us if we'd slowed down to prove my point. Why is it going? Why does these cars black out? Why? What's happening here? Is it, oh, it's just losing net signal, I guess. We just do rear chase. Replay system on an iRace is really good. Ah, oh, you can't see him because the uh, I need to turn the number of cars up. Yeah, see, if we'd have slowed down, that car would have hit us. See the speed that he's coming through there. So, yeah, either way, we would have hit someone. I need to turn our car numbers up. Thanks for subscribing, uh, Fred Demata. Let's do it. Let's get another race going. Uh, we'll probably do some ACC in a bit. Get a giant grid going. Be awesome. Um, max cars. What's this? Why is there two options? I'm confused. Someone's saying turning off object self-shadowing seems to affect the uh, frame rate a lot. Uh, I, I don't think so, Mike. If we when we're in a a, a proper race, I, I, thanks for subscribing. I was wrecked in this before that, anyway. I mean, uh, after this, we were just totally wrecked regardless. Do you, have you ever driven uh, the F F3 car in iRacing? <laughs> it's absolute punishment. It's total punishment. Hello, Frederick. The, o the only way to totally avoid like the, the best way to not get into crashes in any driving sim is to qualify in the top eight regardless of the simulator that's the biggest the absolute biggest thing i do when i'm live streaming i do uh, i do drive more aggressively for overtakes and stuff so like for it to be a bit more entertaining you know we're doing sprint racing if i was doing like a longer league race or something if, if I was doing like a longer league race, I'd drive way more cautiously, you know, because you're like, there's no point in doing a move. There's no rush. Like if you, you know that you're faster than the car in front and you've got like an hour, then well, what's the, you know. So what was this guy doing? He just, 
Oh, he lost control. So he didn't do it on purpose. Fair enough to him. He, ju he just lost control and then went on the ice grass. Boff! <laughs> you really feel the impacts in this. This I, I have to say, this update to iRacing, the, uh, the impact sound and the damage stuff on it, I mean, that should have ripped off the front of the car. It's a little bit too forgiving in terms of the damage model, but... Um, they're brutal, the impacts in this. They've done a really good job on it. Because I think in a lot of driving sims, you have a car crash and you're like, ah, oh, it's a little bit of a bump. Hey, well, he couldn't slow down. He was on the grass. He was on his brakes. You can see the dirt coming up. He's, he's locked up and he's just... He, he's just lost control here. He's lost control. And now, now he's a passenger. So I, I can't really fault him. He's not done that on purpose. I mean, ideally he didn't lose control of the car. But it wasn't malicious. <laughs> there goes my mirror. Woo! Dead. Yeah, fair enough. Where was the other accident? Annoy Americans. Got taken out by someone else before that, didn't we? Let's get a car skin sorted out on this. Mira, Mira, Mira. Oh, was that it? No, we managed to avoid that guy. Uh, you can do it in R Factor 1, Dave. But there's no need to do it. You just have a... I don't know, that was the crash at the start. You, you just need a spotter, to be honest. Outside of that, use the rear view mirror in iRacing, the, in the middle of the screen. And use audio. Like, unless you had, like, proper angled triple screens, which were a pain in the arse... You're not really going to see him, or, or you've got a VR headset. But, yeah. No, I guess that would be quite cool if you had a separate, like, a tablet. I mean, I say you could do it in R Factor 1. But if you had a separate tablet with the mirror rendered onto it, then you wouldn't need triple screens. You could just use them as, like, two mirrors, which would be very handy. You could then learn where cars were. But you, the mirror in the middle of the screen with the wide field of view, I feel, does that for me. In iRacing, I, I I have very good side by side awareness in iRacing from the spotter, the sound, and that that mirror. Like I don't feel like I need triple screens. The only time where I would is if if you were driving on like um, what's that track? Um, Norse Ring. Like you've got corners on not like dead uh, blind left handers. Triple screen really helps for lining up your car through corners like that. Scotch tape. Let's uh, let's do uh, let's see what else is running here. There's a new uh, yeah new spin tires game coming out. It's going to be like it only has like eight players multiplayer though, which is a shame. But they're they're doing like a much larger game world, and they've improved handling, and uh, they've also. Oh, we could try this, but it's probably going to make me have a mental breakdown. I think we'll stick to this. Um, you guys can't see. There's a Porsche GT3 race. We'll try, we might try that another time. Uh, yeah, they've got like four different environments in that new Spin Tires game. It was quite good. I might, I'll do an oval race after this, I think. Scotland would be okay if it wasn't for the Scots. I like Scottish people. The only thing I don't like about Scottish people is iron brew. I'm not sure. I'm, and to be honest, that's quite unforgivable, isn't it? How how can you explain uh, iron brew? Should be illegal. Iron brew just tastes weird. Greg's are okay, I guess. That's a Scottish uh, favourite Scottish restaurant. <laughs> bit of Greg's. Oh, bit of Greg's.
Oh no, did he shift into the wrong gear? It's an inside joke. It's actually poison. It's a Scottish way to take over the world. They, they pretend they all drink iron brew and that it's a really good drink. It's totally like, you know, proper drink. Oh, he's, he's pro oh, we a really good, really good drink, poo. <laughs> That's how Scottish people talk. And, uh, yeah, it's actually poisoning everyone. And then the Scottish are waiting until there's enough poisoned people for them to just take over. I'm on to you. I'm on to you, Scottish people. I know, I know your tricks. I know what, I know your devious ways. Don't think, don't think I haven't worked it out. Le Thomas Le Schmidt. Hello, man. He sounded like an alien. Exactly. <laughs> right, let's try this with let's like let's loosen up suspension. I mean bump stiffness, rebound stiffness. It's like we just need all round softer front suspension. It's maybe a bit more um no, wrong way. Give it a bit more ride height, let's give it th uh, thirty four. There you go, get them symmetrical at least. Could change the front ARB, could be lower. Bump stiff. I've already reduced that previously. I've, I already reduced that by like two or three. The thing is, you don't want the car to just like, it's, if it about. You don't want it to be like sloppy bouncy. You want it to absorb the bounces. Well, let's put it on one. Can't I mean? Can't be worse than what it is. Let's give that a go. Uh, that's the pit limiter. This is still... <laughs> and then the problem is you then get the understeer. I mean, the tires are cold. I mean, it's a little bit better, but it's still, like, bonkers. It, you know what it's like, the uh, Project Cars 2 grabbing at the uh, wheel? This is mogul driving. <laughs> Moguls are us. The, the thing is, what it does is when it does that bump, it overrides all other force feedback. So it makes you feel like your force feedback's just turning on and off. That's the thing with it. See, with the ARB um, decreased, it, also, it adds understeer on braking. Seems to. So I'm going to turn the ARB back up. Anti roll bar. This is Trampoline Simulator. They've been uh, working on this for a long time.
Guy's breaking way too early, almost drove into him. Right. Okay, forget those changes. Yeah, at least... <laughs> it was Donington yesterday, which was good. Shame uh, they didn't keep it for another day. I mean, obviously, week 13, they rotate through content, but... Did I apply that? Do you have to click apply otherwise it doesn't do it? That's applied. Right. Should do more Rocket League videos. People don't like Rocket League. I mean, I, re I really like it, but most, most people don't seem to like it. See, it's still, yeah, I don't think there's any way around it. See, the car handles fine. I could probably add dampening in the force feedback. But, you know, you read. Really, I'm already running a lot of uh, filtering. <laughs> don't really want to be adding any more. Could add in inertia. Let's add some more interpolation. The car's quite good. It's good on... Uh, it, it's... Uh, I think it's one of the best cars in iRacing for actual racing. The main thing is, is you can push the car and drive it uh, aggressively. Not with the cold tyres, though. <laughs> Commentator's curse there. Oh, man. It's typical, isn't it? Main thing is, X, Y happens. You have to... It's two laps. Two, two and a half laps for the tyres to get warm. And then, and then you're golden. Especially, well, yeah, on Sebring. Have you, what, have you tried the setup I've got? It turns in more than that. Brake bars further back. It's not that far off the AC uh, car, just apart from the jolty force feedback. Yeah, well, that force feedback filter in there is not helping. Well, it might, it might take six laps. I don't know for them to be absolutely optimal, but it takes two and a half laps for them to not drive like crap. <laughs> two and a half laps and you can actually push a bit. Right, the, the tendency for it to get stuck in a slide is a lot less after two and a half laps. This is... Probably the most forgiving car in our racing. There's a full size car, not front wheel drive, and not a skippy. Ah, oh, I thought we, uh, I thought we were at a safe point there to read the chat room. <laughs> Denied. I've always got the white socks. You've got about two left of fuel. Just, 
just use uh, just use nice washing up liquid. Sorted. To buy tire blankets, yeah, probably that probably helps. Weirdly, it didn't bump as we hit the curb, though. It's on the return, very washing up liquid. Yeah, I mean, why not? Just put your socks in the barbecue. Happy times. <laughs> Look at the force feedback, guys. I'm somewhat worried, uh, CB, that you know what, what that looks like. You seem to have oddly uh, detailed knowledge of these things. Post effects, uh, what do you mean? I uh, uh, like visual effects. You can, you can tweak iRacing's visual appearance. Not, not in the game, but there's like, you can use like sweet effects and stuff to change how it looks if you want to. I find iRacing, it depends on the track and the time of day massively. Some of the tracks are looking a bit dated now. Thanks, General MG. So that's nice. So that's nice of him to say. Head for Dover. <laughs> Off you go. Dover's the place to be. Oh my giddy aunt. Sixties back. Yeah, well the sky's washed out. The tone is wrong. Maybe we need to uh, re go through the graphic settings again. Ah, oh, run out of fuel. Let's take the cones out. Dush, dush, dush. Rev it up. High performance fuel. Why is there vegetables underneath the uh, old fresh Florida? <laughs> yes, yeah, the high performance fuel of vegetables. I get maybe vegetable oil for diesel. One, two, strike. <laughs> Ah, oh, and I got one at the end as well. Not bad. Car bowling. Just about to go off to the sesh here. Yeah, the uh, sap change didn't really help, so it's, it's going to be bumpy, whatever. 
actually to not wrestle the wheel. Like, it resettles itself. It's not like throwing the car off. Have I messed up my YouTube title here? Probably have. Uh, oh, it's working. Americans are high. It should just say AC. Should just just say Assetto Corsa Competition. Right, the thing, the problem is, is like, do you you put one game in the title, which is good for like listing and what have you, but we don't just play one game. If you start a new, so, so you do that, it's like if you're just playing that one game, you're fine. That's good. Everyone's happy. The view, views are good. It gets listed properly, and when it's a video, it's fine. But the problem is, that'd be all fine. You'd be like, okay, well, every time we start a new game, we'll start a new stream. And so you'd be like, okay, I'll start a new stream. But YouTube does not like you starting new streams. Um, like it doesn't, it doesn't notify people. It does, you know. So <laughs> Twitch is fine on on Twitch. Basically, if you change the game, you change the game title. It lists it immediately. You don't have to close it or anything. So it actually works really well. You can't do that on YouTube. It won't, once you've put the stream live, it lists it as that thing. So, I mean, I, I guess what I could do is for a title, I, I could just put, like the thumbnail, just put our oh, racing with Game of Muscle. No no game name. But then, then it's like, well, people that are sort of just random AC fans or, or you know, potential new viewers... But then, uh, yeah, who gives? Uh, who cares? Ah, <laughs> uh, YouTube guys. The, the thing is, I get new viewers from from videos. So yeah, maybe sod that. Maybe maybe I'll just put because you know the filthy regs always tune in anyway. So maybe I I just put like racing. <laughs> racing, like the thumbnail. Just put racing, sim racing. Uh, it'd be interesting to see what the uh, if that affects view numbers and stuff. I don't know. I mean, because you definitely do notice you get um, if you're playing like, well, you know, say like a, if I was to do like a new, an automobilista stream and I titled it "Automobilista Tested Online Live." That would get a lot of viewers from people that were, would be people that would click on a video that just want to see what it's like, you know. It's, it's it almost as if YouTube are not putting features into YouTube that everyone has been asking for. <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost as if YouTube is, is spending ages redesigning stuff in a way that just makes it worse to use and isn't what anyone asked for. It's almost as if that. It's almost as if YouTube's invested loads of time in having it so that they're covering the back so they can have like Instagram type posts rather than just focusing on what they do. You can tell, right? The big, you know, the uh, well, unless you're YouTube, you probably haven't noticed. Um, a, a large part of the redesign of YouTube is one to accommodate mobile posting, like just mobile phone vlogs and stuff. But the other one is. They they really want YouTube to be more to be a bit more like Instagram, because Instagram has the best metrics out of all the social media platforms. Instagram has the 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 most um, uh, like engagement and circulation by well from my experience and people I've spoken to just on a sort of ground level. You you post something on Instagram even if you've only got like a thousand or I say 500 subscribers you will get like 200 people clicking like on it or something 
which is like if you add a thousand subscribers on YouTube, the, the likelihood of getting a thousand views, let alone a thousand people clicking the like button, or even a, even a two hundred, you, you know, you you need like fifty thousand subscribers on YouTube to to get like a default two thousand views, one thousand views. So I think YouTube are like trying to redesign it. So you'll notice, you know, those like story of the day thing. That's from Instagram. And they're trying to make it so it's more like that. So when you browse YouTube on your phone, you will see like, oh, they've posted this story. Oh, there's a video. Oh, there's an advert. And you can scroll up through it. And I think that's why they're redesigning it so that they can have all these things, which it's like <laughs> the people watch YouTube for YouTube. People on Instagram for images. <laughs> like, companies don't seem to get this. I understand they want to like broaden their platforms, but the the thing that makes a platform powerful is that it does its one thing better than everyone else is doing that one thing. You can't do everything. I only go on Chris Bow's Instagram for pictures of hot women. So uh, make sure you follow myself and Chris Bow on Instagram. But well, we only get to do one lap here. That's all right, Court Marshal. I don't expect people to be engaged. I just expect a general underlying sense of despair and depression from everyone. That's fine. <laughs> a sense of foreboding existential cr cold ties two laps well we only got one out lap so e existential crisis despair foreboding that's about that's that's about right well you also know it's on youtube right so from for streamers vast majority of streamers it, it, it's niche to the point where it's like you have to just play one game <laughs> you know from a pure viewer listing you know just doing one game I, I can't I can't do that I, I you know I can't even just stick to driving games I have to play like VR stuff and things I don't always make videos of them but Just playing one, one single game every night, most nights of the week. Oh my god, I would, I, I couldn't do it. Quite impressed that people do manage to do it. Well, I'm, I like, uh, I don't know how Steven manages to do it with GT Sport. I know he's playing more stuff now, but like, <laughs> he's do he does like a GT Sport race and a live stream like every day. <laughs> Which, I mean, it's, it's got online racing, uh, you know, and racing's ra racing can be quite dynamic, so it's not so bad. But there's people that, you know, they... Actually, Minecraft wouldn't be too bad because you can be creative on it. It's stuff like Fortnite. I just... I just don't... don't know how someone can play Fortnite that much. Even if you really enjoyed it, or even if you were trying to be a pro at it. In fact, I can only really understand it if, if someone was like, they were looking to be an esports player and they were playing it a lot because, you know, that's they, they, they were going to be playing it anyway for part of their esports stuff. So, I understand that, but from a... I, I think it's pretty incredible that people managed to do that. Are you on about CSGO? Yeah. Well, no, that's the thing. I was enjoying it then. I wasn't live streaming it, though. But 3,000 hours is nothing. If you if you were playing, if you were live streaming something 10 hours a day, 8 hours a day, you'd do 3,000 hours easy in, like, a year or so. And it, CSGO was the only way I coped with crippling poverty. <laughs> but the CSGO, it was literally the only thing I could afford to do for like three years of my life. So, you know. Uh, crippling, I, I was never crippling 
crippling, in crippling poverty, just to be clear. Don't want anyone actually being sympathetic. <laughs> I didn't have any money, but I wasn't in trouble or anything. My woman, my woman a sim racer, this is madness. According to Game of Muscle, she's a girlfriend of a guy who bought a wheel. <laughs> oh, who are you on about? T T Musant or someone else? Well, you know, I'm, that was just my thing. I think I was trying to, there's a difference between someone that buys a, gets into uh, sim racing because a friend has shown it them and they like it and someone that gets into something because their partner's doing it initially. Like, it's fine in both cases. There's nothing wrong with it in either case. And in both cases, you know, if someone enjoys something, they enjoy it. How they come across it doesn't really matter. But there is a difference. That That's what we were saying. And uh, I've not met a sim racing female that's that's come into sim racing through like a threat like without coming through a partner if that makes sense i've met csgo gamers i met uh, female csgo players that, that came into it like through like you know they liked fps games and they got into csgo like they they literally just saw it on TV and they were like, oh, I like, you know, that looks fun. <laughs> it, it wasn't because it was in their building constantly, you know. But I was saying I wouldn't be surprised if we start getting way more female sim races that come through karting and stuff. Because I know, I know two or three women that got into go-karting of their own accord. It doesn't matter, but I think there is a difference. Same, you know, same applies to... Same would apply to uh, guys getting into something that's culturally female. Dominated in a given culture. I mean, I know loads of women that, um, well, I know three women that uh, got into Mario Kart by themselves as well. <laughs> and uh, there's loads of women that got into like Animal Crossing. Surprise, surprise. Unbelievable, guys, that... Um, Oh, we're 26, we're screwed. <laughs> it's almost as if, statistically, different genders uh, uh, have different appeals to different things, statistically. Unbelievable, that, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Well, that, when I was really young, um, my friend's auntie used to play um, that Windows pinball game, like, religiously. <laughs> Oh, my, my sister got into um, the Harry Potter games on the Wii, and she's not a gamer at all. She she literally bought a Wii to play the Harry Potter games. You won't make a full lap. That's the uh, that's the gamble, the gambon gamble. Well, let's see how it goes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another wreck battle race at Sebring. At the front of the grid, looking not to get punted, we have Thomas Mainhart. He's come to the race with a fully reinforced carbon fibre cockpit and pillows in front of his face. Hopefully he won't have a nosebleed on this one. Florian Hunder, Hundermark in second and Matthew Rocker in third place. Matthew Rocker too, an unconventional name, but his parents like numbers, so they incorporated it into his name. Well, the lights are about to go out and the race is about to begin. Good luck, everybody. Remember, don't use your brake pedal, drive into the car in front and then shout on the microphone, as is tradition, on week 13 and, in fact, all iRacing races. Let's go racing. 
Here we go. It's my little race start for people. They, they love it. Here we go. Time to die. Die, die, die. <laughs> it's lights out and off we die. <laughs> and away to death. Three wide, fantastic. This can only go one of... Told you guys, why use a brake? Don't use a brake. I'm having a heart attack. I'm having a heart attack. Where's he going? Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. You got a toy car on the right. Go left. You're on the left. You cock. On the left. Clear. What a knobhead. I forgot to be correct. Bloody hell. Fucking idiot. You avoid everything you can avoid. I even pulled to the left there to avoid that white car. You're going to get rear-ended by, by some, like... It's weak, <laughs> Absolute noob. But we're still going, though. It's a shame that the grass has really low grip in this. Yeah, they, they, I think uh, Court Marshal, they've actually improved the damage model in that... I mean, I think it's a bit too forgiving with this car, but I prefer it to be in that direction. It'd be interesting to test it with the Skippy, but I think they might have made it, the cars less reactive to damage, which is a good thing if they have, because it just means the race is going to be better. And it accommodates those times when the netcode thinks there's been a huge crash when there hasn't. I think it should have damage, but I think it should be reduced, as I say, to accommodate for the variability in net code. <laughs> Shit rig to Sebring, yeah. Ah, oh, look at that, guys, top 10. Come on. Jesus Christ. Move the brake bias back a bit. I don't know if I've been imagining things, but I think that the net code seems to have improved slightly in iRacing as well recently. Do you want to do. Can we do a hosted race in our race? You have to bloody pay for it, though. <laughs> Thomas can't... Ah, oh, Jesus, why is that not slowing down? Thomas can't use one of his amazing servers. Hello, Ultrafex. Ah, uh, why is the car not slowing down? <laughs> I don't get why sometimes it seems as if it's not slowing down as much as you think it would. Do you know what I mean? Maybe the tyres aren't warm yet. Oh, there goes the whole grid. Nice. <laughs> we are just lap two. Maybe that's what it is. Just to remember to brake a bit earlier. And maybe we also have damage from that hit, I don't know. <laughs> right, let's get the uh, Delta do on the screen. Let's see if we can get an all-time best lap here. Well, no, we've only just started uh, the race, T-Hammer.
Maybe I wasn't breaking hard enough at the start of the break point as well. But I'm not, I think I need to turn my break sensitivity up. It's probably what it is. Hello, stingy boy. Concentrate. There's no there's no concentration in week 13. Um, I've, it's all about paying uh, the correct insurance premiums. I think uh, these, the GT, this Porsche GT4 is affected on braking loads by um, slightly off camber or slightly downhill corners. Like way more than the same car is in other sims or just other cars in other sims. So you kind of have to be aware of that. Mind you, we ran wide on a flat corner, so... I was just saying this based off Donington yesterday. You know, the right-hander hook. <laughs> it was so hard to get the car to stick into that. Rather handily, the uh, three traffic... Uh, 300, is that 300 metres? Three, 300 foot? It's not 300 metres, is it? Is it... What, uh, how are the traffic cones spaced out in America? It's like 30 foot, isn't it? It's, it's done in feet in America. They're, that's kind of the break point, which is kind of handy. Maybe a little bit after it. Even when it's not the absolute break point, it's kind of right to start the braking zone. It is his foot. Bicycle <laughs> shooting. <laughs> 20 traffic cones ah oh, we're in Texas <laughs> oh dear don't don't you'll start you'll start the uh, chat off on a gun rights argument debate <laughs> I'm fed up of that argument I'm bored of that one it doesn't offer the delights that religion can can provide. Oh, it hooked up. That was nice. Yeah, so now the, what, we're on lap four. Now the tyres are... I think the tyres are now warm. So let's say three laps for the tyres to actually work. Man, this, the bumps on this are a workout with the DD wheel. Ah, now Jesus would have a rocket launcher. Come on, man. He'd use the holy water grenades from the uh, from worms. Uh, no one's got a vaccine to the virus. It, they've um, sequenced it, but it takes like a year and a half to two years to uh, go fully through trials, animal trials, then human trials. So. That's why you want to stop stuff spreading so that it gives more time to uh, allow for you to then get the vaccine in position so less people have to die from it. See, brings the worst. I quite like Sebring. Personally. Trottle, trottle, trottle. Hello! was really sad when you said I deserve the punt at Bathurst because I am a wee. <laughs> Just kidding, still enjoying the content despite that. <laughs> despite that. I like how sarcastic she sounds. Thanks you, uh, hurry. Despite that. Just kidding. I'm now going to kill you. <laughs> That's the voice of a murderer, that robot. Just kidding. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate the donation. Locked in the sim ring for life. 
Why is it so, it's hot in here? Oh, it's 25 degrees to open a window a bit. Oh, hello, Mickey. Thanks for subscribing. You want to see the relative? I'm like miles behind. We went off road excursion. I'm trying to get a better lap time, but I don't even seem to be able to improve my fastest lap at all. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I totally agree, bad time lines. It depends on the car, though. So, also the sim eye racing is particularly bad with track bumps and how that affects the force feedback and the car handling. R Factor 2, uh, Sebring's awesome. Like, R Factor 2 handles the bumps. They're aggressive. They come through the force feedback. It's bonkers, but it, it doesn't... It's not slow and... It, it's, like, very immediate. I don't think iRacing handles that kind of the bumps particularly well. <laughs> They've resurfaced the track now, so I... I mean, this is one of the things. iRacing should really update some of their older tracks a bit more. I mean, they did update Lime Rock. Maybe they only want to update it with, with laser scan data. I don't know. There's no money in updating the track, though. They might, you know, from a business perspective, why update an old track if you can add a new track and charge 15 quid for it? You know, <laughs> where's their where's their financial motivation, other than uh, offering something for people that have been paying for the service for a long time? Fancy that! <laughs> Hello, Lee Cold Carbon. I, I do quite like the Stockholm aspect of iRacing, though. I, I mean, a large part of sim racing is about being abused by other people online, you know, crashes and just feeling bad about yourself with low lap times. So it's nice that iRacing build on top of that with uh, exorbitant track and subscription fees. I think, you know, and, and it captures... Uh, it simulates an element of that real world racing in that if you're if you're not super wealthy you just can't afford to do it so it's really good attention to detail there something lacking from a lot of the simulators is that they are very accessible to people without lots of money making them literally unplayable fake the oak tree died Sebring? Are, are you talking about um, Virginia International Raceway tree? They put a plastic tree there now. Okay, court martial. Sounds good to me. See, this is one of the few cars in iRacing where you can use the brake to navigate the car through the corner whilst on load without it causing the back to just snap out. Self-loathing simulator, VIR. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they put a plastic tree there now. What about the uh, mental damage from playing driving simulators? Is that still on? I don't know if you can turn that off. That was close. carry more with these slower cars I always forget to carry speed through the corners 
Yeah, America's got loads of awesome tracks, surprisingly. I, don't, I guess they've got the land. And the... Uh, corporate wealth to justify building them. They should really name this track Bumpy Ring. I don't even know what a Sebring is, but I know what I know what a bumpy ring is. It's, it's this. See how we can we can literally ram the wheel on the curb, and the bump is less aggressive than the track bumps. There we go. We're getting a lot faster here. We're like two seconds, three seconds off the pace. So see how the car slipped there and you sort of can recover it, but you can I could have held that slide longer without it being a problem. Whereas, and, and like the recovery is kind of smooth. Whereas I feel with a lot of cars in our racing, that kind of slide, you, you're passengered. Uh, why is the Chinese government so stupid? <laughs> are, are they? They've managed to stay in power with a population of a few billion I'm people. Robert, it's a shame. But it was uh, very fun of that. I mean, I don't think the British or the Americans are in a position to call the Chinese government stupid, let's be honest here. There we go. That was a final lap blazer. 16th place. Let's try and flip it. Oh, no, flipping. 360 no scope. Oh, drift entry, guys. Right, let's watch that crash and we'll join uh, Court Martial server. I, they might cancel them for spectators, but I, I don't know if they'll cancel... Well, they're probably, there's a lot of people involved in F1, so maybe they would cancel it for the teams as well. Okay, here we go. This is nice. This was a nice clean race start. This is what I do sim racing for. Nice one, Curtis. Ow. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that was my fault there, I think. Was that my fault? I oh, know. I think it was the car on the outside's fault. He, he just swept across as if we weren't there. I oh, know, it's probably my fault. <laughs> I might have gone a bit hot into that. I mean, I wasn't understeering though. But it probably was my fault. See how close the car next to me was. I mean, I should turn more to the left. There goes my mirror. <laughs> oh, well. So, oh, no, look what happened to him, though. Oh, dear. Whoops. Oh, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Did he just leave the server at that point in time? It was like, no, I can't take it. I know. What? Why does it do that? Oh. Why is it black out? Is it when they lag out or something? Oh, it's F4 before dead. He was like, oh, no. Why are these cars, like, appearing and disappearing? I can't believe we got through that. This is where we got punted. Yeah. I mean, 
I think I kind of noticed him, but I didn't move enough to the left to avoid him. Probably, I probably could have avoided that. Oh, you see, you see me sort of initially turn. I'm like, oh, there's a car coming, so I turn out of it. I didn't expect him to be coming in that fast. I think even if I had turned more to the left, he still would have hit us. He wasn't even close to making that corner. Well, that was good, wasn't it? Thanks, mate. What car you what car have you put on the server? On the hosted session? Is it the Skippy or something good? I I I'm, I can only drive good cars. I can't cope with other cars. Riley Daytona prototype. Is that a terrible car? Uh, <laughs> how do we join a hosted race? How do I even find a server? How does this work? Can I search for it? Search drivers, join a race. Well, I'm I I'm not really picky. They just have to be cars that drive like cars, you know. Oh, there we go. Game of Muscle drinks tea. I like a I like lots of cars. Uh, Subaru Impreza, Ford Focus. A lot of the rally cars I like. Um. Radical SR3, Clio Cop. Um, I, I really like that GT4. Skip Barber. F2004. Most 1980s Formula 1 cars. Um, uh, some of the Porsche prototypes. Um, I really like uh, 1960s Formula 1 cars. I like loads of cars. And a range of cars, uh, some are forgiving and some some aren't forgiving. It's just that they have to just drive like a car. Like, as long as it drives like a car, I'm happy. It could be anything. It's just a lot of simulated cars don't apparently drive like cars. That's that's why I, when I don't like them. And uh, I'm basing it driving like a car entirely off my own invented idea of what a car is. But, you know. Or front wheel drive well you know Clio cups about it for front wheel drive cars so oh well maybe some of the btcc front wheel drive cars don tragic you have to pay uh you have to pay with your life to play i racing unfortunately it simulates the cost of motorsport you you can't do well you they they um do they have like a free intro thing they have a they have like a minimal intro thing i've got a, a code you can use but i think you still have to pay for it and then Bear in mind that iRacing costs about three hundred and fifty pounds if you want to get into it. So, unless you're unless you're willing to spend three hundred and fifty pounds on iRacing, I wouldn't bother. Uh, right. What is this? <laughs> what is this car? It does look cool though, but I don't think I've ever driven this. All right, Thomas McSmith. Oh, why is the car in front? We got the gay pride mobile in front of us. I'm nervous to drive out of the pits in this. I'm not optimistic that this is going to handle in there. Get ready for complaining muscle, guys. Hold on to your nipples. What? Oh. Like the back wants to kick out. Oh yeah, cold tyres. Well, it's not just binders. That's a good sign. Like, it's, there's a little bit of slip there. With it coming back, you'd feel like it was going to go, but <laughs> I've got the force back on so high here. Turn the force back down here. I'm gonna have broken wrists. Daytona, let's go away. Daytona. Do 
do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do do Oh, you know, this has controllable oversteer. Is this using the old time model or the new one? It's not it's not just binders for no reason, which is always nice. Do, 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 do. I need to change the force back in game because Man, our race is gonna have a mental breakdown if the cars start driving like other simulated cars. <laughs> Seems like some of the new tire model stuff actually, you know, drives closer to other sims. I I was foreseeing this 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 happening eventually because the other simulators are actually realistic, whereas I racing wasn't at all. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, and I I always said, at the point where I racing drives like other sims, in that the cars don't bin you stupidly from the tire going over the limit. How it'd be always be interesting to see how iRacers react to it and how they then like all the previous arguments that they've made because this is um, about are oh, the time models fine the old time models fine are oh, you know it's realistic it's the most realistic sim it's like if that's the case with it changing to something that's more pliable like all the other sims doesn't that just completely prove like every single person that's been saying that iRacers tires are shit. Doesn't, doesn't it, it isn't that like, you know, I expect a written apology from all these people. <laughs> you know, that's how internet arguments work. Vindication muscle. He was seen as an outcast. <laughs> Is my mic crackling, by the way, when I talk too loud? I might need to turn it down a bit. But he was right all along. A Hollywood blockbuster like no other. A man on his own, vindicated, when times changed and proved that he was right. One man struggle, like uh, Aaron Brockovich, but with tyre models. His fight against the large corporate sim racing entities. Few believed him until the math changed. Bam, 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 bam. Starring James West as Gamer Muscle. <laughs> Starring James West as loser in a sim rig. <laughs> oh dear. Yep, we need to rectify, bridge rectify this understeer. That's true, Thomas. It's like the frog in the... It's like global warming, but with tyre models. Ah, oh, we need... We need more... Um... Right, let's move the brake bars further back. Can we do that? Does this, oh, this car not have brake bars adjustment? Oh. Oh, it does, but it's not changing. You can see the knob on the screen. Well, you guys can't see it. You knob. You can see the big knob on the dashboard, but it's not allowing me to change it. Oh, is it fixed setup? Have you done fixed setup? Ah, uh, don't worry. I'm not Artemis. Look, I'm 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 sat here playing uh, games with like what how many people watching 150 people watching people sending me money uh, you know everyone can be hard on me and you know i don't deserve like uh and <laughs> by the time someone's a youtuber they don't deserve any sympathy this is what i yeah you, you get it with some of the other youtubers Pe people are like oh oh sympathy for them it's like sod off it's like a foot if you've got a football player complain it like you know i mean i do complain sometimes but 
I'm fully aware that you don't deserve, like, you don't deserve sympathy. Once you're, like, a certain comfort level in life, you don't, you know, it's kind of absurd. Uh, it does can take a while to install, but it's not too bad. Oh, downshifted too fast. Well, this car's really uh, pliable, he says, spinning and losing it. <laughs> no, I, I meant specifically complaining about um, YouTube stuff. Not co I, obviously, I'll complain about games all the time. Why can't I change the brake bias whilst uh, rolling? Okay, we've got a little bit too much fuel in here. We're not doing an endurance race. You know, ah, oh, bollocks. Can't all be winners. No, I, I, I think once someone's, you know, it's like if someone's earning, well, like footballers. I mean, even it, like if you if you've got um, if you've got like a good relationship with your parents and stuff, that already and you're in like your your sort of middle class or something, you know, even in that situation, you're like really really fortunate. That's the main thing. Uh, I did Edward. It's, it's a video. It's going live in an hour. I, I was. Uh, I did a review video of the. the Jesus Christ! The uh, Porsche GT4. <laughs> what am I doing? I think I might put the. <laughs> it's got stuck. It's got stuck, but you can control it. That's really weird. It's like it's got the eye racing stuck in a slide. Tire issue, but you can control it. So it's weird. Uh, yeah, no, I reviewed the uh, Porsche GT4 in the race, because why not? Well, I recorded a video in practice of the Porsche GT4, talking about its handling and stuff. And then I was like, oh, this video is crap. It's not fun to watch. So I, that was literally a 20 minute. That was 20 minutes of me talking, lapping in practice about the car. And I, I, I watched like five minutes of it back. I was like, this is shit. I wouldn't watch this. So then, then I was like, right, that's it. I'm going to do it again. So I, I just uh, did a race talking about the car. <laughs> and I, I don't think it's a very, uh, perfect video, but I think it's okay. It's like, it, it's, it, it should be informative for people that don't play iRacing race and are interested in that GT4 car. Trying to get a feel for things here. I mean, we're just in fourth gear. I'm trying to downshift. I don't need to. This engine's got monster torque. It's got lots of downforce as well. I've, I've been brainwashed by the GT3 and GT4 cars where you have to slow them down so much. What? Jesus Christ. I need to work out the downshift and braking on this. But see, right, notice how I have not, like, I'm losing, I'm messing it up, the braking there, but I'm not losing control of the car. Like, we're not spinning, spinning off the track. That is what should happen. That is a realistic car handling behavior. It shouldn't kill you. It should make you look like a complete tit. Finally, it seems to be happening in more and more simulators. You do have to uh, 
the brake in four speed bikes not so great. You do have to listen to the tyre sound, but as long as you're braking in a straight line, if you lock up, you're not. That, that's the other really big thing with that, for having the forgiving tyres. So this is the thing with Project Cars 2, is the tyres uh, were um, forgiving enough that though you couldn't feel the braking through the force feedback and like weird stuff would happen. Um, you didn't bin it, so it didn't ruin the race. Oh yeah, I, th but this is the thing. I don't mind being off the pace. If the car's somewhat forgiving, you can be off the pace and then you can push it more and more or just push it really hard initially without and you can and you can practice and learn during a race. But I do for some reason I can't get the front center. I do need some setup tweaks with this car. It's not as response I need it more responsive on the um Oh, we've learned we've learned us we've learned up hang on we've learned we've learned setup stuff here guys we've been we've been educated here oh is it fixed setup I oh, know oh man this is confusing bloody different settings <laughs> oh no, we got I, 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 Jesus Christ every car's got different setup options I can't cope <laughs> right uh, I'm probably doing the wrong thing here. We want more anti-rock. We want it stiffer. I'm guessing... Is that seen an inch? I don't know how this works. This is bloody confusing. Uh, spring rate. Suspension stiffer. More responsive. Jesus Christ, this, guy, this car has, like, uh, huge uh, range. Yeah, it's, that's fine. I just... I, I, I'm not saying this is going to make me faster. It's just make the car more, more uh, immediate and more nimble. So just make it more enjoyable to drive. The, the rear's coming out and the braking because I'm braking incorrectly. I want the rear to come out more. The, the, that's not a problem. That's just me driving bad. I want the back of the car to come out more mid-corner and and on braking. But when, when braking properly, I, I was just braking wrong. <laughs> left side. Clear on the left. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. See, this is the thing. I, I really like cars that turn in easy and are very responsive. Like, I actually, when I've had uh, people send me, like, crazy alien setups, I generally prefer them because I, I find if a car's responsive to your, to your throttle and brake, it, it, you know, it, you've got more control over it. So it actually makes it e like it's easier to kill yourself with it if you do the wrong inputs. But if you do the correct inputs, is the car goes where you, you know. Once you can feel where the limit is, the car goes where the, where you put it. You just have to be careful not to push it over the limit. See, that's this is miles better. May have probably change when the. Uh, Tires heat up, we'll probably start understeering again. Still a little bit understeered through those corners. Maybe, I don't, does this car have a front wing on it? Maybe a little bit less rear wing.
Well, the thing is with the new time model filing account, you can go over the limit a bit on the on the uh, good what I think are good cars, and so you can then hold it there. So it's not a problem, even even if it's hard to really through the force feedback distinguish where exactly the limit is. You can push it and 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 kind of learn the feel of that, or the jump. You know, you you can kind of take the risk with it not being an auto bin. Not used to the uh, engine note of this type of car. So I keep feeling like I'm in the wrong gear. All right, thanks, Court Marshal. Uh, this seems all right now. What I've, what I've got now, just need to drive better. It's a, a really good way of knowing that you're driving on the limit in a driving simulator. Why is it? Do, do you need to blip the? Uh, do you need to blip it to downshift? Oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, a really good way of knowing that you're on the limit in a driving simulator, and and, and I think it applies. I think this is the case in real life as well. Is um, uh, I think you just blip it. You, the um, the car should be at a certain amount of slip angle going into the corner. Like I see. That's going to be the optimal speed. Is maintaining a slight amount of slip because that gives you the largest amount of contact patch on the. I believe I might be wrong about this, but I think that's the case. That's a good practice track, Izzy, with this. There we go. Just need to blip it so I can get into the lower gears. See, this is this is good. This is a good car. Another car video for iRacing coming up, guys. <laughs> did you? Were you crying when you typed iRacing is a good game? Did did that pain you? Was that as painful as having a testicle amputated? Is he? He lost out of that one. Come on, car. This, that one corner is slowing us down a lot. Is it a Daytona? I don't, a Daytona prototype or something? I don't know. I don't know my American cars. Oh, we can smash that Kirby. How good is this? It drives like a sodding car. Like, it's night and day. I... I I know it's annoying that I complain about cars that are shite, but how can, how, surely anyone that played a car like this, or like the GT4 Porsche, or the Skip Barber, and then goes and plays with the old tyre model, surely you can, you, you can demonstrably see the difference immediately. He's got the ultrasound. <laughs> Hide your babies. <laughs> They're vibrating in the womb. Like, do people, do people not see the difference? Do they not get the difference between a car that you can control over the limit versus a car that doesn't? Like, and, and, and all these people are like, oh, no, you can't control it. You're just driving crap. It's like, no, you can drive crap and control it. That's, that's, that's what makes, that's a car. I've not tried the new GT3 ones. Though. I've, I've tried the... Uh, Actually, loads of iRacers going batshit mental about GT3 saying it's terrible, so it's probably quite good. So we'll have to try them as well. His voice... <laughs> now, the, my, my voice lets... Uh, the, the, the resonant frequency of my voice causes the light bulbs to glow. Right, I'm, I'm just going to uh, get a cup of coffee and a biscuit or something. I could do with a sandwich, actually. Are we doing a race on this? Uh, when do we actually... When's the race start? Are we in practice at the moment? Okay, it's going to go to quality, so I'll, just, I'll be back in a second, guys. 
check this out. Are you ready? Are you ready? We were losing lots of viewers when doing this, but check this out. Get ready. Pow! Oh, look at that! Look at that professional... Look at that. Do you guys like it? Attention to detail, guys. Streaming... Streaming God. Look at that. Now... Now, uh, now you can type penis to your heart's content. <laughs> Back in a second, guys.
Why is Quali so short? How long's the race? Throttle, throttle, throttle! Public service announcement. Please protect yourself from the human death causing bugs circulating oh, the Jesus. planet. Wear a mask. Wash your hands properly. Stay away from crowded areas. Use alcohol sanitizer. Don't touch your face, eyes, and mouth in public. Live. <laughs> Thank you for that donation. Appreciate that final account. Here we go. One to go. Next time by. Line up on the right side. Closed. Pit road is closed. Oh, I should turn my force back. I should turn my force back up a bit. Does this car not use a H pattern in real life? What's it? Sequen sequences. Give space for that car in front to reverse. Didn't really need to. Thought it was going to reverse more into us. Here we go. Rolling start. Cold ties, cold ties, cold ties. Cold ties. <laughs> cold tires. Cold tires, sorry. This is zero X. Cold tire contact. Sorry. <laughs> Rolling Ah, oh, no, that was pretty terrible. F. I forgot. This car's really safe. I need to turn the brake pressures down on the car, but turn my brake sensitivity up. Sorry. Mo remodeled this car there. Whoops a daisy. These bloody drivers uh, don't know what they're doing. Oh, it's a bit dirt. Ow, stop spraying dirt in my face, mate. Cold tyres. I need to get. A, we need a cold tyres graphic, guys. Cold tyres. Why, gee, my tyres seem pretty Stay cold, boys. Stay focused. Stay focused. Get ready to. Post car is off. Oh no! What's the timing for this? Green flag, green flag. Ah, terrible start. Cold tyres, boys. Take it easy into T1. Oh, yeah. Blip the throttle to downshift. Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting. I quite, it's really satisfying blipping the throttle to downshift. So how come we can't change the brake bias on the fly, but we've got a brake bias in the car? Is that just like a weird... Bug. Change the brake bias on the fly in other cars. Go, go, go! Go right. Oh, God. Come on. Go! <laughs> Go, car! Turn! Got a bit of the old understeer going on here. wait like half a decade for the front to be able to go in. Look at this flock of vehicles. Oh my god, come on, come on car. Sunday steer's killing me. Ah, uh, plow winkled.
not not with this guy, Eric. This is all right, actually. We just need uh, I just need this setup that doesn't snowplow. Or maybe I could just drive it more aggressive as well. F for him. Where's he going? Tire wall visited for Thomas Schmidt. Oh, car in front has vanished. It seems to happen a lot in iRacing. A lot of alien abductions going on. Welcome to Roswell Racing. Jesus, it's understeer. Roswell Racing Simulator. Okay, first gear is probably the wrong gear for that. Oh, no! I tried to throw it in on the brake. It did not like that. It did not like being thrown in. <laughs> I was trying to counteract the uh, understeer by throwing it in. Nope. <laughs> Car says no. Please try again, sir. Yeah, we need we need to. This understeer is beyond chronic. Why can't I brake bias it? Sort of explain to me why the brake bias won't change in this car whilst we're driving. This understeer is literally this is atrocious. This is this is killing it. <laughs> Did we forget to load our Oh, it's because we've got so much we've got a lot of fuel in the car as well. But yeah, this is this is crap. <laughs> I don't know what I can do, because we can't chuck it in because it causes the rear to lose. can't get on the, the throttle's not pushing it through the corner see this right this is a perfect example of the difference between car setup and underlying physics being bollocks no I can drive the car the, it's, the physics are fine the car's fine I've, this this setup's just crap <laughs> this is literally a perfect example of the difference between the physics being crap and the setup being crap. In both cases, you can be slow, but you... well, no, it's not. It's not at all. You're missing the point completely. I'm not complaining about the the tyres or the car being crazy. Like it's driving like a car. It's just good. In that sense, I just need a need to sort the setup out. See, we can catch the car popping out perfectly fine. Like it, it, that's fine. That's good. The tyres are correct. It's turning in now. Maybe how many laps are we in? Seven laps. Maybe the tyres just need to be warm. <laughs> I don't know. What's going on? Those trees, proper tree attack. Maybe we could chuck this in, but not with any braking. That might work. Get the speed up a bit, then chuck it in. That might get it past that at this London steer.
So I really like how responsive the, uh, you can see the weight moving on the car from the uh, throttle. Well, I forgot to blip. <laughs> ah, st stuck in there. I know it's once the <laughs> once the rears get into a slide, they stay in it, which then gives you a really nice oversteer. <laughs> once the tires are overheated, with this setup, you can then get into a nice little slide that you can control, which allows you to go through the corner quicker. That's why that was doing that. <laughs> Fortunately, this car is proper like. It's actually controllable over the limit. That'd be an example of where you'd be binned with other cars in our racing. It's just, it's just a total understeer. I can't get on the throttle and balance the throttle and balance the rear of the car to get the actual pace through the corner with this setup we need to I, I don't know why we can't change the brake bar so does anyone have a solution to that is that just this car it's literally there is as i said there's literally a brake bias knob on the dashboard of this vehicle that's so it seems weird that we can't change it on the fly even though i bound it true Simon you can with the new tar model in iRacing you can mash the inputs perfectly fine it just it'll just cost you time which is that's how it should be was it you that wrote that idiot comment about steering wheel inputs <laughs> on the on under that video Someone wrote a really dumb comment going, oh, why are you soaring away at the steering wheel? Get out of drive from my feet. The, the, Jesus Christ. The reason we saw away with the steering wheel with a new car is, yeah, it was, Jesus Christ, it was the dumbest comment ever. Right, the reason with the new car that you saw away with the steering wheel is to find the limit of the car with... Well, and once you know where that limit is and how much you can throw it and how much you can mess around with it, then you dial it back, then you dial it down and you drive smoothly and you drive off the brake and the accelerator. But you need to find that limit first with a new car to know what you can and can't do. And this is why, if you ever you join a, like, an online race in iRacing, people can't drive like they can't control the cars over the limit partly because the old tar model's garbage but also because they've never actually tried it and they don't have a feel for the car and yet you, you mash away with the accelerator and the brake initially until you work out how much you can get away with and then you dial it down that's it's like you, you, you find where what you can do, how much you can push, and then tone it down, and then you'll get you'll get faster. It's a quick one of the quickest ways of finding how much you can get out of a car. <laughs> Simon, ah. Everybody knows that. Being well, actually, in real life, it seems to not always be the case. But with simulators, I mean, I think it is kind of the, the case in real life as well. I, but you see other examples of drivers being mental. But um, with simulators, 
especially, s smoother inputs will generally generate faster laps because the car you're not like the car's not flopping and slopping all over the place. So ultimately, it'll allow it to to uh, you're more likely to get better grip out of the tyres. You're more likely to get you know better power application out of corners and everything or maintain grip through corners because you're not doing like crazy wonkiness but that's not like a secret thing that's like it's pretty much everybody playing a sim knows that ah oh, Jesus Christ that was another idiot comment we were getting your steering wheel is not in sync with the HUD wheel I, I appreciate that might trigger your OCD, but what I sometimes do is I run the steering wheel at um, different rotations from the game, which, yeah, it's not one-to-one, -one, it's not ideal, but if you're tweaking the... Um, if you're tweaking the... Uh, if you, on the fly, if you want to make your steering more sensitive, it's a, a way to do it. As long as you don't go too crazy, it's, it's not necessarily the end of the world doing that. But I could totally appreciate why that might trigger some people. I quite like tight steering. In real life, I mean, it depends on the car, but with a lot of cars, the driver would say, I just prefer this steering ratio. You know, or, or you can change other aspects of the setup to make it more, more or less responsive. So I don't know if those options are in iRacing. I think they probably are, but... Uh, Changing it on the steering wheel on the fly works just as well. I you I use one to one in like R Factor Two because you can change the steering rack. I use one to one in. ACC because you can change the steering lock and what have you. I use um, 900 degrees in AC because it seems to all the cars seem to this, the rotation values in AC seem to be close to what I would personally pick as well. Yeah, am I using the correct? Yeah, that's the other one. The tri factor of comments. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> ah. If I see another 10 things sim races, what, what, what is that title that people keep putting in the video? Um, five things I wish I knew, or like 10 things sim races do wrong. And it's always like completely stupid crap that, that the, the <laughs> it's like I I mean I <sighs> ironically when I started sim racing I used to be a bit like super anal about field of view wheel rotation all these things I used to like be really you know I'd be like oh it really matters you know all oh, gotta get it spot on forgot to blip but after like seven plus years of sim racing and actually getting better at sim racing I literally don't give a shit it doesn't matter it's like <laughs> 10 things beginners never know I mean it's like and it's always the f number one on that list should be it's a sodding game, have fun. <laughs> Don't take it too seriously. That, <laughs> that is the number one thing that beginners need. It's not real racing, it's a video game. You can use it for training. You can role play with it. You can treat it like real racing if you want to. But as a matter of fact, it's a video game. Expect it to be like a video game. Enjoy it. But it is a video game. It's on your computer. It's abstract. It's not real driving. The, the sooner someone forgets, like goes, oh, hang on. Yeah, I should approach it like a video game. Not crash into people. 
practice, but practice it like in this like say you wanted to be the top esports driver in GT Sport or F1 2019 or whatever or like top esports driver in Mario Kart you have to like train you have to be like super precise it's insane skill and you have to like actually apply not maybe not with Mario Kart but with GT Sport and F1 and stuff you, you know you have to be like focused uh, be proper with your braking race lines and stuff stuff that know the track layouts very well use the track limits you know stuff that applies to real life but you approach it like a game you're like okay like, how much can you push it in the game what what's what thing in this specific game can you do to ex to to get more out of it you don't approach it like i need to treat it like a real car <laughs> it's a sodding game that's the first thing that noobs need to be told it's a video game enjoy it role play but don't forget, it's not real racing. It is what it is. Everything is what it is. Don't try... Never pretend that something isn't what it is. <laughs> and we've had this rant before. It's like with... Like, the paintballing analogy is the best thing. It's like, if you were to play paintballing, how you would do a real engagement in a in a war or a skirmish or a fight or something in real life you would lose the paintball game when you play paintball you're like okay you have a certain amount of ammunition uh, a lots of ammunition typically because you've got the extra things and you you create like volleys of covering fire at certain frequencies and then you move in in a certain way that's based off like how fast the paintballs travel what angles people can cover and you know, and how many players you've got in your team. You play paintball like paintball. You don't play paintball like a like someone shooting at you with real guns. If you want to win a paintball game, that is. Oh, in VR, it has to line up one-to-one, -one, Terge, for sure. Yeah, in VR, I have to do that. But if I'm playing on a monitor like this, it's... Yeah, if it doesn't line up in VR, I have a mental breakdown because it really throws you off. I haven't raced in real life, no. I don't even own a road car. <laughs> I've driven road cars and go-karts, but I haven't done any real racing. I, I, I couldn't afford it. <laughs> Do you know how expensive real racing is? Well, paintballing hurts more than being shot in real life, especially if you're shot in the face. Because if you're shot in the face with a real bullet, you die, so you don't feel anything. Shot in the face with a... Oh, no! Someone said 30 litres! Was that Dom GTR that said 30 litres? Ah, oh, come on. We've been Dom gtr guys. Yeah, do another track. Ah, oh, bollocks. Dom! Was that Dom? Was that Dom? Or was it Court Marshall? Thomas Schmidt. It's alright, this bit's downhill, but then there's a little bit of uphill. Oh! Oh! Will he make it to the finish line? It's Mansell! He's out of his car! Oh! He's having to push it! Oh no, we're not. We're like. Yeah, the sarcastic checkered flag really helped. Nice run. Solid work. <laughs> Solid work. We haven't finished the race! Or have we? Did we actually already go over the finish line? Did we actually already finish the race? I hadn't realised. Ah, uh, yeah, I could have pushed the clutch in. That's a good point. Oh, we did finish. Oh, no. We, uh, we finished because it was one lap down from the leaders, so it's all right. We still got fifth out of that. 50, 40, oh! 30, 20, retard. 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 <laughs> Gas money. Thank you, Eric. Really appreciate that, man. Right, next, next one we're going to do. Another hosted race. Cheers for the support there. Dom, 
That was in honour of you, that uh, lack of fuel. We Greta Thornburg that race. Right. Next. Uh, yeah, we need we need to set up. Uh, are you sending it on Discord? We just need it to not understeer chronically, and then we're good. Everything else about that car is fine. Nice handling, nice tyres. Did you send it on Discord here? Uh, Court Marshall sent us out. Blue flag PSA. Come on. Even if I even if I tattooed blue flag rules on my forehead so you can see on the webcam, people still wouldn't listen to it. Where do you put setups in iRace? Is it in a, your doc? My documents folder. Documents iRacing. Uh, setups. Uh, what what car is that, guys? Oh no, Mike, you've been triggered now. What what car was that? Date was it Daytona something or other? I don't even know what I don't even know what car that was. It's a good car. I will do Turge Turge Healer. Riley, what is that? What it's called? Well, like Daytona Riley or what? Riley DP. Why is it not showing? Roth. Oh, Riley DP. There we go. Le Perfect. Right. I need to get the uh, setup apps installed. Do we need to join a different session? Yeah, I think we do. Right. Uh, hosted races. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Where is it? Game of Muscle something or other. Anyone could join, by the way. There's no password or anything, I don't think. Uh, Game of Muscle. No damage. Clean racing. You're live on the YouTube. Oh, he's look at that. Thanks, thanks for advertising for me. Proper dedicated fan base here. Okiyama International. Historic. Okay. Let's see what happens. Well, they've probably forgotten it because it's a good car. iRacing hates having good cars in the simulator. It's like some kind of weird thing they've got. They're probably going to do that with the GT4 car. They're probably not going to run it in its own series. <laughs> I, I racing, it, the one of the worst things about iRacing, separate to the way that they sell the content, is their choice of car track combos and race series and what they do with that. They, I mean, you're never going to make everyone happy, but I, I'm saying they do it badly, not based off what I like, but based off what would be highly popular series. So, I mean, at least they've not messed with the Skip Barber and the F3 car, but sometimes they put tracks that are like with a car and it's obviously just to sell that track to more people. Like, it... it <laughs> It's because it wouldn't make any other sense to run it. It's like you've got so many awesome tracks in the sim. This is a, I'll do a separate video on it because uh, I think iRacers agree with me on that. So it's retired content, but it's actually fun to drive. So then why don't they... Oh. This is a good example of the problem with the structure of iRacing. I guess you can you can still do your own hosted things with it though, so you know. But uh, you know, this would be so with the retired content that would be an option for iRace. Like if they got rid of the subscription fee, because I, I think iRace would probably make most of their money on the uh, selling tracks and cars. I, I would I would wager that's where they make most of their money. That's where most companies. You know, that's why DLC is so popular. That's where they make most of their money is when they release new DLC. So I would wait. Like, I know I'm not in charge of iRacing's finances, so I don't know. You know, whatever. There's their own corporate structure. They'll have made decisions. Whatever. But it would make sense if you wanted iRacing to, like, really... I mean, at the moment, there's not too much competition. So whatever. Don't change it. They just keep making money off people. 
But if if the competition actually got good for iRacing in terms of other services offering ranked racing and things, um, if iRacing offered the the uh, the free what you currently get with the subscription content as actual free content they would probably make more money from the amount of users that would then join and then buy other content because they've got into it and you would then have a larger user base you would have that you'd then have way more people racing you would then have more people fil filtering into other series and i races are you, you get all these i races going Oh, no, it, the, the, the price of iRacing is what stops the wreckers, which is bollocks. It's not true. What stops wreckers in iRacing is um, safety rating and your iRating. And so if you want less wreckers in a race, they need to make the I, the safety rating harsher the actual, or make the license system actually mean something because it doesn't because everything is Class C racing anyway so your safety rating is irrelevant because you're never going to go drop you're never going to drop below c rating even if you're really bad <laughs> i published a video yeah why not i always publish videos whilst i'm live streaming next level skills because i'm next i'm i'm on top of my i'm top of the game here <laughs> how does he do it i cloned myself Next level skills. It's a good video, that. <laughs> that game of muscle guy, he, he talks a lot. How does he do it? Oh, break, why break bias? Right, let's try this setup. Because does anyone know in chat why I, why the break bias setting's not working in this car, despite it being bound in the menu? Unless it is on, unless it's unbound in the menu, actually. My button box plugged in. Should be bound. We did... Uh... Break by set. Oh. No. Where's... Yeah. Increase. Decrease. Yeah, it's done. Maybe it uses the peak break bias. Maybe it uses a different setting. No. No, it doesn't. See, is it changing, but I can't see it? This knob should rotate. Or something. Does it say in the black box? Oh, it is. <laughs> there you go. It is changing the... Uh, look, you guys can't see. So on the dash of this car... It was changing, I just couldn't see it. Uh, so look, we've got this ginormous brake bias knob there, which wasn't rotating. I've got so used to animated cockpits. Right. Massive knob. It was just me being a knob. Right, it does work. I could have just twisted the knob in that race and I didn't. Well, I did, but I didn't know what I was doing, changing it to. Yeah, it's Knobageddon. Whoa, this is like really <laughs> steering sensitive. But it's turning in, boys. I need to share this setup. Oh, that's better. We got power over steer. We got brake over steer. We got, we got fart in your seat over steer. Ah, we, you need the oversteer, guys. No oversteering. You might as well go home. Whoa, too much oversteer on the corner exit. Cold tire oversteer. Okay. We've got to be very careful exiting tight corners. Now we know. Cold tire oversteer. Got to be very, very careful on the slow corners. K 
careful with his steering input. Ah, oh, look at that immediate response on the brake. I don't know. I hope people that are, that are constantly criticising, when whenever I say, "Oh, you know, this a sim that car drives like shit," and then they're like, "Oh, it's just because you can't drive it." I hope they get now the difference between being slow but still feeling in control of the car and just not being good at the track and not, you know, not fast, and being slow and oh, the car has killed you for no reason because it's totally bollocks tire model or car implementation. I hope, I don't know how we can convey things more clearly to those people because maybe maybe those people that are like that are the same people that just lose it in a race because they can't actually drive by feel. So to them, all simulated cars are all exactly the same. It's like, there's a limit, let's not go near it. I don't know. Ah, uh, well, you've done a good job with yourself. Don't know if it's fast, but the car's turning, I'm happy. Woohoo! Ah, oh, he's overcooked it. See, this is, this is still, like, really, really unforgiving, but there's a margin there. Uh, I'll shut up, guys. I, I'm like a broken record on loop. <laughs> There's, you know when you're at the limit, and so that's it. You're like, well, that's it. I'm at the limit. That's what I'm supposed to do. Happy times. And if you go over it after that point, that's your fault. Like, you know, you can't blame the sim for doing something unexpected. It's your fault. There's no... You should have caught it. Hey, G-Hammer. <laughs> The thing is, with all the backseat drivers, the car gets bogged down and it really makes it hard to uh, deal with the back of the car under braking. It's like when I play flight simulators. It's really hard to land the plane due to all the backseat pilots. Actually, <laughs> even if they're in the backseat, they'll be at the front of the plane. So I have to pull back extra hard on the, on the flight yoke. It's really, you know, it makes it really tricky. I think I might need to uh, decrease the brake pressure. Left side. To the right. Still there. This car is so sensitive to throttle input. <laughs> Overcooked. It's really satisfying trying to, you know, when you've got that rear end popping out and that bit of slip, it's really satisfying trying to hold it in that. It gives you, you know, it's, it makes, that's fun gameplay. It's like drifting in, in, in arcade games. It's really satisfying trying to get the angle through the corner right because it's a sort of predictive skill. How many cars can you run in a hosted session? People are watching the video. It's only a 20 minute video. Oh, I got stuck in the slide, auto bin. <laughs> Still have to watch out for auto bin. Low speed sensitivity. Be very careful. Is it dependent on pit stalls then? You got it 
Uh, everyone seems to be losing on the low speed corners. <laughs> yeah, share this setup uh, to people. Post it in Discord. I mean, if you don't mind. Aero boys. Uh, this would be great to do a race, a proper race series with on iRacing, like every like two or three hours. I, ha I didn't know you could share setups in game. Let me finish this lap and I'll share it. When did they add that? It's probably been there for a long time. Ah! Oh, got away with that. Oh, no. Cut. Jesus. When you slide in iRacing, the tyres take ages to come back to you properly. You have to, you have to remember that. Way more so than other simulators. I mean, I did do a huge lock-up. You know, it probably would have overheated the tyres, but... <laughs> tyres were cooked. Should have uh, needed to wait a bit longer. Right, um, how do I share it? Share. Is it only in private sessions or something? There you go, shared. Got, <laughs> got away with that phrase not to be used in iRacing. racing. Oh, okay, I'll load your new setup then. How do you uh, get new setups? Shared setups. Nice. Thank you for that. Man, imagine if iRacing was free to play. Uh, it's coffee I'm drinking, that's why. If iRacing was free to play, but with the DLC content in it, imagine if they'd done that like five or six years ago or three years ago. It's like, I wonder how, if I wonder if they would have got a lot more users. I mean, because obviously sim racing is quite niche, so it's not, you know, it's not going to be the same as if other tiles go free to play. The race room doesn't have the online structure hook. I mean, the rank racing is good in race room. Hopefully, they they uh, do that more. You have to have for that. You it needs to be like you need a multiplayer hook to get to latch people into it for that whole free to play thing to work. Go left. I mean, yeah, if, if Race Room had, was free to play, like it, like it is, but it also had free to play uh, multiplayer a hosted session, which was like an introductory car, like a slow car, or something semi boring, but still worked okay. And then you had to pay to do GT3. I did, you know, I think uh, they could get a lot of uh, players from that. You have a huge market in other countries like uh, Russia, for example, where they, you know, they really, and China, where they really pick up free to play stuff. That's true. I mean, attack helicopter curbing is pretty good. Car on your left, clear. Clear, slow car ahead. <laughs> You'd be so careful in first gear. DC sim racing, are you spamming? Are you spamming? Right. Unless you apologise for spamming in chat, you're going to be executed. I'm giving you, I'm giving you two minutes to apologise for spamming without having a conversation. Otherwise, someone's going to execute you. <laughs> Little spamming bastard. Come here and spam. 
spam your face on the pavement. <laughs> Welcome to the friendly, happy world of Gamer Muscle. Spammers, guys. It's only... You use court martial setup. He's updated it. It's court martial setup anyway. I know. I'd, I'd rather have a, a a robot woman than a someone promoting their random league that no one cares about. Right, that's it. I think you've got to kill them. They've not apologised. Murder! Ban them! The thing is, I don't mind people having, lo like, small leagues and stuff, and they come in the chat and they're friendly and they're like, oh, hey, whatever, you know, how's it going? Oh, you're playing this game, we, we, you know, we do, you're welcome to join us, and I don't mind that. You know, that's cool. I don't mind promoting other people. Oh, he's dead, Dom GTR. Kill. Ban him. Full ban. Don't just, like, del kill him. Kill. <laughs> Take his head off. Permadeath. Permanent ban. Kim Jong on him. Yeah, you, you like, with people going, oh, I've got a sim racing YouTube channel. As long as they're, like, nice. It's like, I love promoting smaller channels because I know how hard it is to get going. But p people that just spam, like, what's annoying about people spamming is it doesn't even work. They're, or they're, they're wasting their time in the first place. It's not like people are going to go, oh, yes, I'll remember that. I'll go there. It's like, no one cares. I need a guillotine animation. Bloody hell, we need, we've got, like, five animations we need to sort out. Guillotine with a proper guillotine sound effect would be awesome. Woo! -hoo -hoo. It's a spicy cabbage. And I'm sweating. I need to open the window here. I'm absolutely boiling. Sorry. Yeah, or oh, maybe Benensis, but it's going to depend on a whole bunch of things. L low speed grip is another thing that seems to be uh, hard for driving, seems to get right. But, I mean, you know, may maybe just, I don't know. So, when it comes to, like, general grip levels, it's like, I do not know. I'm not, I've not been to that track. I don't know what that tyre compound's like. You know, I'm not, I've not, I've not been in that car. I don't know what it behaves like. I mean, it might seem wrong or whatever, but it's interesting. I never comment on stuff like that, other than going, oh, this is very slippy. Go there. As long as you, as long as you have warning before the car slips out, it doesn't matter because it, you know in real life you could just have a, you could just have a sloppy track like a low grip track. So you could just be like in your mind to be like, well, you know, it's just, it's just simulating it as if it's a low, low grip crap. Uh, crap. <laughs> I hope your crap's a low grip, otherwise you need to drink more fluid. <laughs> the crucial thing is having the ability to catch it and having the force feedback, because then it doesn't matter. I mean, it might be annoying, but it's not gonna un surprise you. So like that, went over the limit, caught it perfectly fine. It's not race ruined. You don't want auto bin. But if you do have auto bin, it has to be avoidable. I like watching a Tropico stream. Why is that? 
because the colours are so bright. Or because they whinge in that game, I don't know. I like the utilitarian nature of the dash on this car. What's wrong with white thumbnails? Nice and uh, clean. I, it just looks different from other YouTube channels. I don't want my stuff to look exactly the same as like every other gaming thumbnail. Keep thinking we've got one more gear. We don't. You got a toy car on the right. It's the second gear through that, I think. First gear through these. Oh, no! <laughs> we were on a good lap then and run out of fuel. Oh, well. Whoopsie daisy. There needs to be more circles and arrows. Oh, yeah. That's, that's Chinese thumbnails. Hang on, are we, are all the settings right on that, um, on that video we uploaded? Let me just double check. How's it doing for views? Video view check. YouTube Studios. Uh, videos. Oh, it's like I've got no views. What's going on here? Oh, video fail, guys. No one's interested in this. Right, that's it. No more iRacing videos. <laughs> what did I title it? Oh, video fail. Ah, oh, not good enough. Right, that's it. Put it in the bin. No, no more iRacing videos. <laughs> Not good enough. So we're going to stick to... Uh... <laughs> Forget that. Put a pencil in your mouth. <laughs> oh, no. Shouldn't have bothered re-recording it. Oh, what a waste of time. Oh, well. Let's get back to driving. Oh, I hate iRacing, guys. <laughs> Uh, that's, that, thanks for the offers, Kakel. I'll, I'll probably just do my own like bonkers set up, uh, sk car skins with the uh, channel members when I get round to it. I'm all right, Jack. Welcome along. Why are iRacing viewers, like, really weird on YouTube? Like, they seem to really like... Like, if you do iRacing live streams, or if you do, like, a race video, iRacers love that kind of stuff. I guess, I guess when it comes to new cars, they've already bought it. <laughs> so, they don't care. Need to, we need more contentious thumbnail.
Oh my god, cold ties. Hello, the real Benny Mac. Right, here we go. Quit drifting this all over the place. Oh, that was practice. Quality time now. Here we go. Yeah, I don't I don't understand iRacers. iRacer user base definitely it's definitely its own it's its own weird thing. <laughs> Compared to I understand the other Sims user base. But iRacers I don't get. People that just play at iRacing. I understand the uh, ACC user base, actually. I'm in tune with them. Maybe it's because iRacers are American. <laughs> <laughs> does it does get stuck in a bit of a slide, but you can control it. Have to, when it's in that slide, you've got to not get on the throttle. First gear through these. This is a good track. Do me a favour whilst doing this quali. Check out my latest video. Click the like button on it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't drive. Bin bag that. Oh, do we only get two laps? Ah, oh, what? Well, that didn't go well, did it? I got too used to the warm tyres. You <laughs> can probably. I have to, I have to. Well, that's it, that's out of the question. Look how it's... It's really weird how it does that with the cold tyres. Get See how it's stuck in the slide there? Hello, Tortellini. Yeah, I haven't played AMS 2 that much. I need to go back on it and do some more. I, I don't really want to ruin it for me when it comes out of beta so we can uh, just play it, race people, live streaming. Tire warmers, guys! Oh, great, that was it. Well, quality lap failure there. Mr. Cold Tires. I know it's just a uh, weird habit I have, uh, Don Tra Dick. You don't need to. It's when, when you have to blip the uh, downshift. I then end up blipping the upshift. It's like a weird, yeah, it's just me being 
mentally deficient. I have to remind myself not to do that. Look at the tie skipping there. Yeah, she made you. Uh, they take the first two laps super, super, super careful. Nah, it's, it, if it's something like that, it's normally me doing it wrong. I often do dumb stuff like that. It's like when I heal and tone a really weird way. <laughs> Yeah, two, two laps, two and a half, three laps, and then the tyres are up to temperature. I changed the brake pressure there. It's a setup. Garage! Where's brake pressure? Do we have brake pressure? Nope. Just on the wheel. Surely this car has a brake pressure setting. No, I guess it doesn't. Going crazy here. No, no, no brake pressure on this car. It be what it does. Oh well, I've, just, I've turned down the sensitivity on my steering wheel, so that'll do. Ah, uh, thanks, Erwin. Pro tip there. Appreciate that. Yeah. You could, you can just push the pedal less, but uh, it's it's so sensitive that it's not even getting past the the uh, the rubber on my pedal. The base is very large. Push the pedal. Uh, I'm re I'm really disappointed in our last video, guys. I I thought it was going to be a nice little, you know. I wasn't expecting big things, but I thought, you know, it's a nice, nice little positive video about iRacing's GT3 car. Nobody, nobody cares. Oh, it's like way. B <laughs> well, this is like uh, this is like you releasing a film in it. Well, it's exactly like that. Oh, no, it's it's <laughs> this is performing like. Oh no. Well, that's that. Fail, huge error. <laughs> oh dear. I need to put better underwear on. I need to wear a bra next time I'm doing our racing video. Thanks, Erwin. Uh, no, this is Alcantara. Alcantara. Al Why is it moved? <laughs> Why does my camera keep moving? It's literally separate to my rig. Hang on, hang on. Alcantara. There you go. Does that help? Master Chef Australia. Australian Master Chef host. Okay. Ah, uh, what? Hang on. What's going on here? How about you do something else so I don't have to keep paying for hosted sessions? <laughs> yeah, okay. How much do you have to pay for this? Mm. 
We've just stole court marshal's money here. One buck. Still, that's that's like a uh, that's that's a uh, still money. Right, here we go. Ready for racing here. Hold on to your trouser legs. Ah, oh, I forgot to change the force feedback again. Bleh. What are you doing? Ah, uh, what? So hang on, I don't get the views on the video, but I sell the bloody car. This, the iRacing, the economy of iRacing on YouTube videos just, just doesn't make sense, guys. It doesn't make sense. I'm selling content and I'm not getting, I'm not getting uh, the views on the video. All I'm doing is ruining more people's lives. <laughs> ah... Bloody hell! I, I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick to Automobilista 2, ACC, and Assetto Corsa videos, or just general videos whinging about stuff. Is this a big race? You penis! Negative. Ah uh, shit. Well, here we go. Uh, Cause I enjoyed the car. I actually quite like Thanks it. It's, it's gonna be fun to like race. That. Oh, thanks for I the help. Joined and we went straight to grid, so uh, I'm gonna stay back. What, we've got a lot of Americans in here. I think. Hi guys, I'm Sean Carl, and welcome to the Game of Russell Okiyama race. I'm gonna be doing this race in the Abudu Revolution with, that I've built out of tinfoil. Good luck, everybody, and remember. Have fun and subscribe to the Sim Pit. Right, here we go. Is that for real, for real? Green flag, green flag. Whoa! <laughs> a little bit, a little bit loosey goose there. Left side, you got a slow car on the right. You're on the right. Rewind. You got a slow car on the left. You're on the right. Rewind. Left side. Two wide. Go right. Go right. Go right. Oh, come on. I had to avoid the car there. I had to drive off the road to not. Oh, come on. Jesus Christ. Grass has no grip in our race. I keep forgetting. Go right. Go our races are really good, guys. <laughs> right, Al. This is so much different from when we race on our other uh, other sims. You got a car on the right. People seem to be struggling with throttle application. It's all right, we got through there. Minimal damage. I, I mean, I can only come to the conclusion that I think most sim racers don't drive by feel at all. I mean, granted, if you, a DD wheel certainly helps a lot with cars like this, but... You got a slow car on the right. Go left. Go left. Well, this is the, that's the reason why you shouldn't sim race from memory. Like, I know sims kind of force it a bit. Sims kind of force it a bit, but the more realistic they are, the less that you should drive like that. Like, you, you need to ha know, but you have to be able to feel what the car's doing so that you don't know if the track's different or the tires are cold or something changes or you have to drive a different line. Well, people, it's, people still are struggling ACC. You got it, like out on the right. Ah, 
I keep thinking we've got an extra gear, so I so I don't need to lift there. Can someone please slap me every time I lift for the up gear, the up shift? My brain can't cope with blipping for downshifts but not lifting for upshifts. It's really weird. It depends on the car like that GT4 Porsche, the new one in iRacing. The traction control on that isn't obnoxious. It actually works like, you know, you still slide a lot if you want to. Just calms the car down a touch. So I, I think it's second through this section of corners, but first through the top ones. Yeah, well, I'm going to do... A, I think that's what my next video will be about. Because it's it's become really apparent <laughs> recently, especially, especially driving iRacing and ACC and stuff. And even like the rank racing in race room. Auto bin video. Now it'll be, it'll be something like the biggest mistake sim racers make. <laughs> I'm doing that. Totally doing that. The one mistake most sim racers make. The most important mistake. Sim racers need to stop doing this. <laughs> this one thing will make sim racing better. <laughs> I'm doing it, guys. It's happening. Second gear through these. There we go. We're getting this. Well, my last iRacing video is a question, but it's too long. I made a, and the thumbnail's not good enough. I messed up. I, I failed. My last iRacing video was a disaster. I should have used the iRacing logo with a smiley face. Ah, oh, I'm an idiot. I should have used the iRacing logo with a smiley face. Ah, oh, why didn't I think of that? Why? Oh, what an idiot. That that would have got, that's like a, that's instant click. iRacers love the iRacing logo with an emoji on it. Bugger. I need to, after this race, I need to update it, guys. After this race, guys, got to quickly make a thumbnail. Well, I want to see if it's uh, the metrics change. Oh, I should have called, I should have called the video iRacers will love this car. Ah, I'm so bad at YouTube. I'm so bad at YouTube. Christ. I always think of a good title and thumbnail three hours after I've uploaded a video. Bloody hell. That's, that's literally cost me. Like, I have to change after this. That's cost me like 2,000 views easily. 
maybe even like three or four thousand views. That's that's how precarious the YouTube game is, guys. You've got you've got a you've got a thumbnail on the limit. You've got to, you've got to do your thumbnails like Michael Schumacher going through a chicane. If you don't, you end up being <laughs> you end up being Nigel Mansell. You you end up being uh, David Coulthard. I'm not re-uploading it. Don't need to do that. Oh, Christ, he's understeering into us. Car contact. I moved out of the way there. One X. <laughs> Zero times one X. Well, you know, that, that's that's a controversial subject that I, you know, I don't feel comfortable broaching on this channel right now. That bump really unsettles the car. Thumbnails on the limit is what happens if you put sandpaper on your steering wheel. Woo! Uh, no, I, I never had a problem with the force feedback CB with the DD wheel anyway. I mean... My issues with Project Cars 2 were the, just the cars, not really the force feedback. I know a lot of people hated the force feedback, but I, I just used Roar and set the tone and the volume and it, you could tell what the car's doing. I'm not, I'm not picking with force feedback. It, I just have to have a signal for the tyre load and it, for it to be variable, and then I'm happy. It doesn't even have to be realistic. I mean, I do, I do prefer AC's force feedback, but... Man, you can't relax driving this car. <laughs> Force feedback on a DD wheel is like really tight. Anyway, in Project Cars 2, so it's like it's fine. I think the problem with Project Cars 2, for me, wasn't the force feedback. It was the, um, it's the, the sort of weird, somewhat weird grippiness of the. T it's just like the tyre grip curve. Whoa, it's dead people. Okay. So like how you can keep turning the wheel to get more power through a corner, like power through it in certain ways, or how the cars um, snap, rotate, like. You can catch it, so it's, it doesn't ruin the race, but it's, the cars are just over, too overactive. Automobile is the two basically fixes that. Also, the curb thing, which part of that is force feedback, but the car is genuinely massively unsettled by the curbing. touched it's the same the uh, the skill gap with this car seems to be quite wide so you don't 
don't end up with particularly close racing. Although we, we got smashed at the start of the race, so maybe the front guys are probably a bit closer. Yeah, I like I like AMS too. See, I think I think people are warming up to it. The more they play it, I noticed that with a, quite a few people that played the beta, they they didn't like it at first, or they were like, oh, you know. Uh, but actually, after they've got used to it being a different sim, they actually quite enjoy it. Uh, making the brakes less sensitive on this have helped a lot. So this track's a little bit too technical with this vehicle. I think the low, this car really struggles with the low speed corners, which makes it a lot harder to drive than it would be on like, this, this car probably be really good on uh, Silverstone or like Formula One tracks. I mean, this is fine here, but I think for, for most people, for close racing. Oh, yeah, I saw a bit of uh, William Marsh's stream at four in the morning. <laughs> Game of Marshall sleep pattern. What's a sleep pattern? I don't know. Maybe we could do some AMS2 streaming later. I might do a new thumbnail for that. Where this guy only has five gears. Yeah, I, I agree with you, uh, Joss. You still don't get the force feedback on the braking in, in Automobilist 2. You didn't really get it in, in AMS1 either, but... You don't get it in most. It's, it seems to be only really AC that has that brake feel. You don't get it in ACC, iRacing. Uh, don't think it's in R Factor 2 either. It's literally just AC. I don't know what they did to do it, but maybe it's just an accident of how the suspension compresses or something. I don't know. It's like the Apex. <laughs> I don't know if they even did it on purpose. I mean, obviously, Kunos work really hard on it, and they're insanely talented. But it does seem as if a lot of AC's amazing aspects are at, like a fluke. <laughs> In a, like they, I'm not discounting their insane hard work, and they're really talented. They put a lot. You know, they did really good stuff. But like the decisions that ended up making AC. You know, like the, the modding, I mean, obviously they wanted it to be moddable. But, I don't, you know, I don't know. No, the, no net, the thing is actually, Netcar Pro and Fry Virtual Academy were both. Ah, oh, that's... <laughs> oh, God, come on. That's how close, that's how uh, easy it is to spin this. That was like a fraction too much off. Both Netcar Pro and uh, Fry Virtual Academy were really good. Jesus Christ, Jesus. Lagarama. Oh my Gideon. Come on, man, just quit. Right Clear on the right. It was sent from heaven. Ah, oh, I mean, I had I had the naughty spin there. Three minutes left. Let's try and get some more PBs. I'm going to really try and push this a bit more. I 
think at moderate speed we can push the throttle while it's just on low speed. <laughs> He's using the mobile phone connection. Is that in a, in a good way or a bad way, Joss? I mean, this is one of the things that Project Cars 2 actually has a very advanced dynamic track, if not outside of ACC, one of the most advanced dynamic track systems. I arguably some aspects of it are more advanced than ACC, but you know, it's debatable, whatever. A lot of people don't realise that. But this is why I find it funny when a lot of people are like, oh, Project Cars 2, uh, it's arcade. It's like the cars were just, the setups were bad, and they were badly, well, they were sort of rushed into implementation. Because with Project Cars 2, they were flopping around on the tyre model until the last minute. Like the, the, they hadn't decided what to do with things. So, Project Cars 2 issue was the engine, uh, not the not the engine, the, the bugs and the car implementation. The actual physics engine is, is you know, no no worse than the other things. As we pointed out in that video. And this car is a struggle to drive <laughs> quickly. It's hard work. Come on, PB lap. Yeah, it's like the console develop game development strategy, isn't it? Codemasters are probably the worst for it. Yeah, SMS. Ah. 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 <laughs> I'm struggling to. No, we're not losing it, but I'm struggling to hold it at the limit so we can get the most out of the corner. I think maybe a tighter, making my steering tighter might help. This could be a bad idea, but let's see what happens. Yeah, that's better. You need, to, you need to be able to react to the slide quicker. Oh, I should have done that earlier on. Dude, that was such a launch. This was unbelievable. Yeah, it's nice. It's a shame I got wrecked at the start, avoiding the accident. But right, I've got to adjust this thumbnail quickly, guys. Get ready. This is Houston. <laughs> oh, he's just what? Why was why does it keep undrawing vehicles? Ah, oh, what's going on? This is like since the update. That's the, they ruined it. I racing. <laughs> we, 
Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, I racing. Right. Nice racing, guys. Let me just quickly. Uh... Well, what should we do now? What should we do now? I might start and st stop the stream. I don't know. Is that a terrible idea? And we could put the actual game that we're playing in the title. What should What should we do? What uh, What should we play now? What What should we play next? What do we play next, guys? Grab a sandwich. Yeah, we can do some ACC. Let's do some big grid ACC. That'd be good to do. That's always fun. We could do we could do a bit of ACC, and maybe then some uh, AC or something. So uh, play Rocket League, and we'll do that another time. Okay, I'll be back in a bit, guys, with a new title. I'm going to fix my iRacing clickbait title on the video. So go and watch that and click the like button if you want to support us. Click the like button on this. Give me, like, it'll probably, you know what I'm like, like 35, 40 minutes. And if I'm sooner, congratulations. If I'm not, terrible. Terrible show, old chap. But uh, thanks for watching this, this stream, this iRacing stream. All right, Vanessa's Prime. Thank you, everyone, that supported this stream. Remember, we are coming back in a bit, so keep keep subscribing, click the like button. Uh, thank you for donating, honey. Random call sign in Portugal on holiday, filing account, and thanks for the super chat, Eric Kuya. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, see you, Vanessa's Prime. Thank you for watching, man. Have a good have a good uh, Monday, hopefully, a good rest of the week. Thank you for subscribing, Fred Demata, Frank Nor, and Mickey Leverson. Bye, guys. See you in a bit. See you in a bit.